In this video I show how to create a simple stylized fence model using modular pieces. This process involves creating simple modular pieces which are later on used in Substance Designer with the modeling graph to put together a fence using procedural tools. In this example, I create a simple post and plank shape in Maya by using standard modeling techniques. I first create a post and then create a single plank model. With the models ready, I proceed to create UVs for these. I use standard UV techniques such as unfolding and straightening UVs. I pack the UVs using as much space as possible and export the low poly models as FBX files. I also export the same model as a high poly model. I import the high poly model into ZBrush and proceed to add details by first subdividing the mesh and using the trim dynamic brush. I also use custom brushes to add some details to the wood. If you're interested in these brushes, I will leave a link in the video description. Once I was done sculpting the pieces, I exported them from ZBrush using an FPX file. In Substance Painter, I loaded the low poly model and also the high poly model in the bake settings. For the texture, I simply apply the 3DX stylized smart material and changed a few settings. If you want access to this smart material, I have left a link in the video description. I added an extra layer on top of the material with a curvature map in order to make some of the details pop a little bit more. Once I was done texturing, I exported the textures in this case using the Unreal Packed template. In Maya, I also exported the low poly models, each as a separate model one file for the post and one for the plank. In Substance Designer, I created a new modeling graph and imported the low poly models. Once I had the models linked to the project, I proceeded to use the different nodes in Substance in order to create a fence using procedural tools. At this stage, I started by using an array duplication node in order to duplicate the post. I also exposed the amount parameter to be separate from the array node in order to make it easier to access. One thing I also did was move the models so that they appeared at the top of the grid. After this, I used a jitter node in order to add rotation variation across the duplicated posts. Next, I added the plank and used the basis node along with a transfer node in order to move the planks so that they were sticking to the front of the duplicated posts. I also used a jitter node for the planks to add some variation to the rotation as well. For the planks, I also added a transform node in order to be able to change the size of the planks. Using the jitter node on the posts, I was able to give size variation for the posts as well. I connected the nodes together with a merge node. Finally, I made a new substance graph and imported my textures and assigned those in the correct slots. At this point, I applied this material to the model. With this simple setup, I was able to create a simple stylized fence in a procedural manner. This allows me to create many different types of fences which can be used in an environment without having to manually place them. I hope this video gives you an idea of ways in which you can go about creating models by using modular pieces. If this video was helpful, please hit the like button and take a look at the channel for more videos like this one.